Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're outside the liquor store in Mini Mart for an update video. Now we're going to show you inside the store a little bit, and then uh, as someone comes fishtailing down the road, <laughs> and then um, we'll uh, talk about a little bit about sales and different things going on and new products, and then also we're going to show you upstairs because it's all demoed out and um, show the apartment what it looks like without all the stuff in there too. So love the likes, love the shares, love the comments, love all that stuff. Keep those coming. And then yeah, let's take a look inside, see how that's going. And then maybe we'll see what car is coming over here. <laughs> All right, we'll go inside, take a look here real soon. Take care. Here is the store and we've gotten much more stuff in stock. So that's been great. I mentioned before we had a hard time getting a few things. We're getting that back in stock and we've been able to get just some other items as well to fill up our shelves because we keep buying more coolers to put stuff in. Um, I'm gonna show the upstairs here soon. And we did find something really, really interesting in the wall upstairs. So we'll show you that here too. But you can see um, we have much more variety, more IPAs, more small breweries in stock, a lot of different seltzers and different things, so many more wines. Um, more um, choices for alcohol, um, more whiskeys, more bourbons, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, we haven't really seen our bank account go up very much in the store because we keep spending a lot of the money on new inventory and different things there. So eventually, I figure that will level out and we'll hopefully see the bank account keep going up. But we'll show you the sales at the end of the video, how those have done since we first opened in February. And yeah, all kinds of different things going on here. This is our cooler room, so um, it's actually a little bit empty, so it's usually much fuller. But we had the 4th of July weekend, and we were open every day and went through a lot of alcohol um, for that. So that's good to see. Uh, good to see lots of sales coming in, although sales have been down slightly since June. And I don't know, we, we had a local um, independent stampede here in the area and some different things going on that could have taken some people out of the area to do different things than come by the store. And yes, we're still need to fix that light. It's absolutely horrible. But when I first bought this store, this room was almost empty except for a few things. And now we've got it just stocked full of different stuff. So really good to see uh, the vendors that we talked to have said that we're buying like three times as much stuff and doing three times as many sales as the old owner did. Um, since I posted a, a, a video before too, she has not come in to buy anything without paying. So that's good. And then, um, yep, here's the other side of the store. We got another new cooler from 7up. So something we learned is the vendors will give us coolers for free if we put their stuff in it. So we got this Gatorade cooler from Pepsi for free, the Aquafina cooler for free. We already had the Red Bull cooler. We got the 7up cooler for free. And we didn't even carry 7up when I first got the store. So um, we added that, we've added a few other things, and then that's our Pepsi cooler where we've been able to get more things as well. Of course, trying to keep different food and milk and different stuff stocked. Milk is so expensive, it's crazy. It costs us over $5, get $5 a gallon for milk, um, where we can go to the grocery store and buy it for three. Uh, we just can't buy enough of it, and we're not even on the delivery route for some of the dairies. So unfortunately, we pay a whole lot of money for milk and we try to keep those margins really tight to help people out because obviously they need milk and it brings them in for other things in the store but we still charge a lot more and it, it frustrates some people but unfortunately we just can't charge much less in in break even so we have lots of items stocked in the back I always like to check there and make sure it's organized and taken care of so that's good to see and of course we'll show you upstairs and what it looks like here in just a second so now we can take a look at what it looks like all cleaned up and demoed still have some work to do but it's so much better just having the carpet and dog poop <laughs> and uh um, all the stuff out of here and you can really see we have a surprise too we'll show you here in the bathroom i showed it in a short before but i don't think i've showed it on my long video um but you can really see i think what it used to be before just one big hallway coming in through here. I'm sure those doors weren't there originally. The hallway probably curved over that way. Who knows if those bathrooms were there or not. Actually, let's take a peek and see if that floor kind of continues under there like there was no threshold before. Probably just kept going as a hallway forever. And I mean, honestly, 
could have been just a bunch of rooms with no bathroom because it's built in 1904, I think. You might have had an outhouse outside. So who knows? But <laughs> now this is what we've got. Um, we've decided not to go crazy remodeling, changing the floor plan, just because I've got so many other things going on. And it should be really easy to rent um, once we get just cleaned up a tiny bit. So you walk in to this room right here. And this is kind of one of the two living rooms. So that is a little weird. So that's one thing we might do up here. I talked about that in the last video is just fill in this wall right here, kind of make a walkway in that yellow wall right there, put a closet somewhere. This will be a bedroom. Then this can kind of be your dining room here. We'll still have a living room. I'll show you over there in a second. You've got your kitchen here, which might have hardwood under that underlayment. It might not, but if it does, it's probably in pretty rough shape. And so we're not going to go too crazy. We'll just put some kind of vinyl over this probably. And then, yeah, this goes to the other apartment there. So we want to make sure that door is sealed tight or even we take out the door and fill in an actual wall. Um, we thought about taking this kitchen and giving it to the other apartment because it's very small in there. But then there's no kitchen for this apartment and there's no plumbing, you know, easily accessible. We've got a liquor store. We've got a mini mart below us. It's hundred year old walls and ceilings. Um, it's not easy just to move plumbing around. So we're going to not go crazy and move everything around. We're just going to kind of leave it how it is. And so this will be a bedroom. You'll kind of walk into the apartment right here. You'll be able to go through a walkway in there to the dining room and kitchen. You'll still have this little opening here, which goes into your living room right here. And then you'll have another bedroom right here. And these are huge rooms too. Um, it's always hard to tell on camera, but this is probably 15 by 14, not including the closets. So huge rooms, real tall ceilings, gigantic windows. And then the surprise is in here. Um, this bathroom isn't horrible, but it's really not that bad, actually. Just new flooring, probably. Oh, and you can see right there, it might not have had original hardwood there, maybe changed out at some point. So maybe it did have one bathroom just for everybody up here. Who knows? But right there, I kind of showed it in a short before. It went through the mirror. I'm pretty sure that's a bullet hole. And you can kind of see if I get the right angle here. There we go. It goes through the wall. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, the sink was clogged up. We had a router service come over here to clean it up. And uh, they came over and said they weren't going to do it because they're afraid of breaking the lead traps. And we need to have a plumber come over and do it. And so our plumber came over and did it and fixed it and actually routered it, even though that's the router's job. But I think they just didn't want to do it for some reason. But we got it done. <laughs> and then this way, we have more rooms. We have this other bathroom right here. So it's got two bathrooms too, which is nice. Although that is close to the shower. Wow. No bullet hole in that mirror. It's funny. I missed that the first walkthrough I did with my camera because I'm always trying to avoid mirrors and not show myself in the mirror. So I don't always look at the mirrors and, I, and we all missed it. Um, just walking through normally too. It was just my second walkthrough that I saw that bullet hole. Kind of interesting. And this is a, could be a bedroom. This had lots of dog poop in it before. But really, I mean, there might just be a tiny, tiny faint smell of it still. It really sunk before, but the floors aren't destroyed or soaked through or anything. So that's really good. This can't be a bedroom though, because there's no window in here. And to have a legal bedroom, you've got to have a window. So this could be an office. And um, in here, this can be the third bedroom right here. And you can see remnants of the shag carpet still over there. Again, in here, there's some stains, but it doesn't smell in here either. So that's good as well. And then um, we'll show you right here. There's that hole that, yep, goes through where, there it is. Getting the, there's the angle. <laughs> so it would have come through that closet and across the wall here. And I don't know 
if this right here is where it hit the wall or not, but that could be it. What is that? What's in the wall right here? That's not a fragment of some metal. Who knows what that is? Interesting. We'll put that there and explore it later. <laughs> so maybe there's still some bullet in the wall. And it's also interesting too, how these windows in the bedrooms, they built the ceiling down like that and angled it. I don't know why they did that, but they did. So that is this apartment um, for the hardwood. We have really good hardwood guys who do an amazing job. And then we have really fast hardwood guys who are much more affordable. And I'm thinking this one's gonna get the fast guys to come through here because we just don't have two to three months to wait for other guys. And then um, I don't think they'll like this job because there's gonna be some ugliness, some things that aren't perfect, but it's gonna be a rental. It's an old property. I think we'll be okay using the fast guys and just having a few imperfections and go that route on this property. So there you go. There's the apartment. We'll get the hardwood going right away. And then maybe we'll do some painting. Maybe we'll just touch up a few things if we can actually find that paint because there's a whole load of paint right here. And the paint really isn't in bad shape. If I can get away with out painting a place, that would be amazing. Here are the daily sales for the store. I love doing these little charts. I show them quite a bit on our TikTok and Instagram page. So we have a lot more daily content on there. But you can see it's been an upward trend, upward trend, had some really good days in June. And then um, lately things went down a little bit, but not too bad, but we'll see if we can keep those up and coming. All right, thanks for watching. Love all the support. We'll have many more updates on this property, the businesses, the apartments, of course, there are other flips going on, other rentals, all of that as well. Love the likes, love the support, love the comments, keep those coming. And we'll be back with much more coming up here soon.